Hi everyone, my name is Christina and I'm a, now a senior um, in LSNA studying psychology and education um, and I lead Young Life at Dexter High School. Um, so what made me want to become a leader? I was actually involved in Young Life in high school and it's how I found my faith and developed my faith and so I was really thankful for that. Um, so that's one reason that I just love Young Life as an organization but also I went through a lot of trials and hard times throughout high school and Young Life was always a place where I could go, where I could just be myself and feel safe and not have to worry about anything else that was going on. And so I was really thankful for that. Um, and I wanted to give that to other kids and to help create a safe environment where people who may have go may be going through some of the same things that I went through could just come and be safe and be themselves. Um, that's really an experience that I valued and that I don't think I would have found anywhere else. And so I really wanted to give that to others. Um, next, what does a normal week of ministry look like for me? So, our week starts off on Sundays. For my team, we do our team meetings, which usually lasts between an hour and an hour and a half. Um, we actually rotate our team meetings, so one week we'll plan two clubs and campaigners, and then the next week we'll do just a team hangout, which is just like team bonding and a great time where we can just all be together and love each other and hang out. Um, the next thing that we do that's scheduled is all of our events, club and campaigners, and just any other event that we do is always on Wednesday nights at 8. And so this year we took a different approach and we did club one week and then campaigners the next and then club and then campaigners like that. Um, and that was really great. It worked well. We had a really good show out for campaigners, which is why we actually changed our schedule from doing, we used to do club on Wednesdays and campaigners on Fridays. Um, but we weren't getting a lot of attendance at campaigners. So the weekly, every other week worked really well for us. Um, and then to end the week, we have leadership from five to seven. That's the all Washtenaw County thing. Um, we worship, do ministry updates, get announcements, and then Dan, Corky, or Laura usually share a message with us for that. Um, and then for contact work, um, normally we do, maybe, or we try to do maybe one Whole contact work maybe once a week or every other week as a whole team. Um, my team has a lot of individual contact work. Um, I, I had four seniors on my team that just graduated and so they were more into the discipleship than meeting new kids and so they would do a lot of one-on-one -on -one contact work. Uh, my teammate Michael, he would drive out to Dexter every Friday, I think it was, uh, this whole school year, and he would eat lunch with two of, his, or not lunch, he would eat breakfast before school with two of his closest guys, um, and that was just a time where they could really just talk and become lifelong friends, and I think that's awesome. For me, I coach JV volleyball at Dexter, so I was in Dexter three to four times a week um, with the volleyball program, so that's where a lot of my contact work went in the fall. And then, as a team, we normally try to go to basketball games. Um, Football games, a lot of Young Life teams do that. It was harder for my team just because one of my teammates plays club soccer at Michigan, which is a fall sport, and then one of them is a field hockey manager, which is also a fall sport. So we had a lot of just people everywhere. So fall makes it harder to do whole team stuff for me. Um, so yeah, every team is different. Honestly, most weeks are different too. It's not like we have a completely strict schedule besides our Sunday, Wednesday, Friday routine with team meetings, club, and leadership. Um, yeah, so then the last question was, what do I get out of being a leader? Um, for me, I love leading. I love meeting new kids and just seeing them have fun. Honestly, the biggest thing for me has been the community to come out of this. Uh, U of M is such a big school, as you guys know, and it can be kind of hard to find yourself. But I really found myself through my team and just a family that I love and that I know supports me and loves me, which is just irreplaceable to me. Um, I'm on a team of eight, which was just cut down because of all of our seniors that graduated. But I think it's amazing to have such a small community like that inside a larger community of Washtenaw County. Um, so yeah, it's a great place to find yourself. It's a great place to be loved and to expand on your faith and to also walk through life and expand your faith with other people doing the same. Um, if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. I'm an open book. Thanks for listening.